we know how to apply KCL and KVL and now we are going to solve one problem using these two laws and according to the question in the circuit shown this circuit here the power supplied by the voltage source is now when you look at the given circuit you will find there is only one voltage source and therefore we are required to calculate the power supplied or we can say the power delivered by this voltage source and we know to have the power delivered we need the voltage and we need the current voltage is given 10 volts but we need the current let's say current is i so our main task is to find out this current i and once we have the current i we can have the power delivered and there are four options given in the question and this question is taken from gate instrumentation 2010 exam so let's move on to the solution and to begin with i will first copy the given circuit and if you are making the notes then don't try to make the assumptions using the same circuit given in the question this means whenever you try to make the notes then always redraw the circuit while having the solution and we redraw the circuit to draw some assumptions and simplifications in the circuit so don't make changes in the question make changes in the circuit which you redraw in the solution so let's move on to the first step and in the first step we will assign the direction to the current i current i will have this direction it will leave the positive terminal and it will enter the negative terminal why because power is getting delivered and when power is delivered the current leaves the positive terminal and enters the negative terminal we already know this point now we will focus on the other two sources present in the circuit and they are current sources the first source here is providing the current equal to 1 ampere and this source here is providing the current equal to 2 ampere and if you focus on this node then you will find 1 2 and 3 elements are connected at this node therefore this node is the principal node and we know at principal node current division will take place and therefore we will use kcl to find out current in this branch one ampere current is entering the node two ampere current is also entering the node and let's say current in this branch is in this direction therefore this current is leaving the node and we know according to kcl sum of entering currents will be equal to the sum of leaving currents and there is only one leaving current so sum of these two currents will be equal to this current so 1 ampere plus 2 ampere is equal to 3 ampere and from here we are getting current i so at this node we again have current division because 1 2 and 3 elements are connected here so this is a principal node and according to kcl this current which is the leaving current will be equal to 3 ampere plus i because these two are the entering currents so we have i plus 3 current in this branch this node here is the simple node two elements are connected here therefore this is the simple node and at simple node no current division takes place therefore same current i plus 3 will flow through this resistor as well so here we will have i plus 3 current and this current i plus 3 is entering the node and one ampere current is leaving the node let's say current in this branch is having this direction so this current will be equal to i plus 2 you can apply kcl or you can simply look at the fact that i plus 3 is the current entering out of which one ampere current is leaving this means i plus 3 is now reduced to i plus 2 
one ampere current is moving in this branch moving forward we again have this simple node and at simple node no current division takes place so i plus 2 will be the current through this resistor as well now at this node current division will take place because like this node this node is also a principal node and therefore we will apply kcl or we can think in a very simple manner that i plus 2 is the current entering out of which 2 ampere current is the leaving so here we will have i current left which is true now after this we have currents in different branches and now we can apply kvl and to apply kvl we will choose the outer loop i am selecting the outer loop because if you select any other loop you have to include one or two current sources and we don't know about the voltage across these two sources therefore we will try not to include them and hence we will select the outer loop so let's quickly apply kvl we will start from this point moving in this direction in the direction of current i we have one source providing 10 volts as the voltage and you can see that the potential is rising therefore we will take the positive sign so we have plus 10 volts then we have one resistor and we know resistor in the same direction of the current will give us the drop in potential therefore we will have the negative sign and the voltage drop will be equal to the resistance multiplied to the current so 1 multiplied to i plus 3 which will give us i plus 3 now moving forward we have one more resistance having the value 1 ohm through which i plus 3 current is flowing and therefore we will have minus i plus 3 similarly for this resistor we have minus i plus 2 and for this resistor we have minus i plus 2 and then we move back to the same point therefore we will equate this with 0 now when you simplify this you will get 10 minus 10 minus 4 times i equal to 0 10 and 10 will cancel so we have 4 times i equal to 0 which implies current i is equal to 0 and now it is very clear that power delivered by this source will be equal to 10 volts multiplied to 0 amperes giving us 0 watt so option is the correct option and this is all for this question so in this particular question we have used kcl and also we have used kvl to obtain the correct answer now i will give you one homework problem and the homework problem in this particular course is very important because you will get some questions to practice to make the concepts more clear and you will get the answers of the homework problems given in the different lectures on our website so in this particular lecture we have this homework problem in which you need to calculate the voltage across a b this means you need to calculate voltage across this point and this point use the concepts which we have discussed and once you have your answer don't forget to post it in comment section